My people, my people, my people, what is going on? It's the wealthy guy here and today I am talking about the five measurements that every man should know in order to get the perfect fit for your shirts and your suit jacket. Now, the reason why it's important to know these measurements is because when you're going into, into a store, stores have standard sizes. And in order to get something to fit you properly, you need to know what your body measurement is as it relates to those standard sizes in the stores. Today I have Victor with me. Victor, say hi. Hi, everybody. And Victor is going to be assisting me with the demonstration to show you guys what measurements you need to know. The first measurement that you need to know is your neck size. So if you're going shopping for shirts, you usually see two numbers, right? You'll see a 15 and then you'll see like a 32, 33. So now we're going to focus on the 15 number. That number may be different for you. It may be 16. It may be 17. It all depends on what your neck size is. So I'm going to measure Victor's neck size, right? And what's recommended with neck size is when you take the measurement, you want to make sure that you could stick two fingers in there. So Victor, with my two fingers stuck in there, Victor's neck size is a 15 and a half. The second measurement that you need to know is your full sleeve length. This is the number on the shirt that is going to let you know what size length you need for the arm. So in order to get this measurement, what we're going to do is we measure from the base of the neck all the way down to the end of Victor's wrist. So that measurement is a 30. So the closest shirt size that Victor could buy in a store would be a 32 33. Now, if he wanted it to fit perfectly, then he would have to get a custom made shirt that is a full sleeve length of 30. Now, the third measurement that you need is the sleeve length. Now, this is different from the full sleeve length. The full sleeve length is going to give you what you need for a shirt, and the sleeve length is going to give you what you need for a jacket. So, in order to get the measurement for the sleeve length, <laughs> I almost said full, you're going to measure from the end of the shoulder. Now, usually it suggests going to the pinch of the hand, but in my experience, your jacket uh, sleeve will come out too long, right? So what I would do is measure it up to a little bit below the wrist. So Victor's measurement is a 24. Okay, quick tip. So when you wear a suit jacket with a shirt, you want to make sure that the suit jacket is about a half an inch shorter than the length of the shirt. So if the shirt comes all the way down to the wrist, you want to make sure that there's a half inch in between the bottom of the shirt and where the jacket starts. That's where your suit jacket and shirt are going to look best paired together. Number four is your chest measurement. Now, this measurement is really important when you're buying a suit jacket because the numbers will run from 34 to, you know, 46, 50, depending on your chest size. So you always want to know what your chest size is, especially if you're going to buy a suit jacket online. So let's do Victor's chest measurement. So Victor, raise your arms for me. Bring them down. Relax. So what I'm going to do is measure right across the broadest part of Victor's chest. And Victor's chest is a 38. So Victor could confidently go in the store and pick up a 38 jacket and it should fit him properly in the chest area. Another thing that I wanted to add is when you go shopping for a suit jacket, you might see a number like 38S or 38R or 38 long. So this stands for short, regular, and long. Now, typically with short, 
it is for a person that is between 5'4 and probably 5'7 and a half. Uh, a regular is someone 5'8 to about 6'1 six, or so. And then a long is for someone that is, you know, 6'2 or taller. But again, this has to do with the arms and that may not necessarily be the case. And number five. This one may not necessarily be necessary in, you know, picking up a shirt or a jacket, but it is very necessary for a man to know his waist measurement. So we're going to measure Victor's waist measurement. So have him lift his arms up and I'm going to come around where Victor wears his pants. So underneath his stomach. And Victor's waist, bring your arms down, Victor, and relax. And Victor's waist is a 30 and a half, right? So something like this is going to come in handy when you are, you know, picking jeans or picking trousers um, at the store. So this measurement is going to come in handy when you need to know your waist size because you're purchasing a pair of jeans or a pair of trousers, even though it, it will vary a little bit from your actual waist size, at least you have a great starting point in terms of knowing what may fit as closely as possible to your actual waist. Okay, so let's recap the five measurements that every man should know when purchasing a suit or a shirt. Number one is you should always know your neck measurement. So again, when measuring the neck, you wanna take the tape, put two fingers in, it should be two fingers of room when you're measuring your neck. Number two would be your full sleeve. So this is going to give you the number besides the neck size that you see inside shirts. So if, for example, 32, 33, 34, 35. That measurement is from the base of the neck all the way down to the end of the wrist. Measurement number three is the sleeve length. So the sleeve length is going to be important for the jacket length right? Shirt is full sleeve. Sleeve length is for jackets. Number four is your chest. So every man should know his chest size. That is going to be the measurement that you need if you are purchasing a suit or suit jacket. That measurement is going to be, again, around the fullest part of the chest. And lastly, number five, like I said, this may not be necessary for purchasing a shirt or a jacket, but every man should know their waist size. So your waist is underneath your stomach. So Victor's waist is here. Every man should know their waist size. It comes in handy when you're purchasing jeans or pants um, online as well as in stores. Now, you guys know that I'm all about the custom fit. Custom fit is what's going to make things look the best. And the measurements that we talked about today are some of the measurements that you are going to have taken when you get a custom made product. Having something custom made is going to give you that dapper look that you really are looking for that you cannot get in the store. So that being said, when you are ready, to step your clothes game up, stop playing, and come see me. It's The Wealthy Guy, and I'll see you soon.